Welcome back and in this session we're going to talk about using plugins and the difference between using them in Pro Tools and Studio One. First I'm going to show you in Pro Tools. There's two types of plugin obviously. There's an insert and there's a send where you create a bus. So if you want to create an insert in Pro Tools and let's say we wanted to put on this snare drum here a plugin. Let's say we wanted to use uh, for example uh, the Waves H delay. Then we come down and we'd find it and as you can see, I've got quite a lot of stuff in my, my collection here, but I would find the waves H delay. There it is. And there it is then. And it's now an insert on the channel. If I wanted to use that as a send instead, I would come to track, new, and let's say stereo, auxiliary input. I'd create that. Let's bring that down just underneath the snare for now. Then I'd need to do a send first. I need to go bus and I'd choose a send. So I'm going to put echo, which is there. Then I'd have to come here and I have to go, I'll go to delay this time in this list. And where's the H delay? There it is. So I've got H delay into there. So I'll turn it off on the actual channel. And then what I've also got to do as well is make sure that my IO is set up right. So if it's sending out the echo, I've also then got to bring the echo back in here. So now when I play this snare, if I turn that up, you'll start to see, you won't hear it, you'll start to see the echoes now coming back through for H delay here. So that's how you do an insert and a send in Pro Tools. Now let's say we want to do the same thing in Studio One. What I'm going to do is press the F3 key and my console's come up now, as you can see. See our inserts now sends here. We go to our browser. If I want to put that H delay on that snare first. I've got it in my browser. I've also got it favorited, which is nice. And I simply just bring it over and drop it. And there it is now in as an insert. If instead I wanted to add it as a send, uh, I could do one of two things. I could pick it up here and drop it there. It's now become the send instead. We turn it off there. And it's also created the send uh, and the return for that as well. So if we turn that on now, and we now play that, you can see we've got the H delay there as that send. So that's inserts and sends, and how you do it in Pro Tools and how you do it in Studio One. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward in Studio One, just to drag and drop, and that's the great thing about Studio One, we can drag and drop it. Now the other thing you can do as well in Studio One, which is really nice, is for example, if I've got this kick here, and I want to add to this kick, for example, a filter bank 202 EQ uh, as my filter in there. And then I'm also going to add in there the Universal Audio uh, uh, 1176 Rev A. So we can grab that. And now I've got that chain in there of my effects for that kick drum, my, my plugins. And coming back here to Studio One. If I want to do that, what I want to do, I want to do a, a 202. So I do a quick search for that. There's my 202 because I use it a lot. I've actually given it an icon as well so I can see it. I bring that in and I drag that in. And then we want to put in the 1176 as well. So we're going to do 1176 Reve. And there it is. So that's also, I use that a lot. So there's my two settings now. Now what's really cool then is I can go there and I can go store effects chain, uh, kick, vintage, press OK. Now if I want to then add those into my kick each time, if I remove those now, I can just go here and go down kick vintage and there they are already instantiated and I can actually store those and bring those in when I start a new track as well. So when I'm mixing or tracking, I can actually bring in those presets for each track. So that's using effects as inserts and sends in Pro Tools and Studio One. Thanks for watching.